guys and welcome back. I'm Captain Foley and I'm going to be doing a review today. Now it's not something I normally do uh, a review of. Um, I have done a few. When the channel first started I did some uh, early ones showing some of my other um, ones of this collection. Um, but yeah, I've been waiting for this one for a while and I've got it now uh, and I'm super fantastically thrilled. This is the Star Trek uh, TOS Romulan Bird of Prey, uh, as seen in Balance of Terror. Uh, this one is, of course, done by Diamond Select and Art Asylum. Uh, they do some fantastic Star Trek stuff. Um, and I've been waiting for this one for a while, like I said. But And thankfully now, thanks to my great admin team over on the Trek Yards Facebook group, um, Joe, uh, Jeff, John, Stuart, Ian... Um, Eh, anybody else? I hope I didn't forget anybody. Um, they they got together and got me this. And when I re and when I, when I saw Joe uh, at Wonderfest this year, he actually presented this to me, and he got one for Samuel as well. Uh, he got him uh, the first contact Enterprise E, um, which is great. So thank you very much to you guys. First of all, if you haven't seen my Wonderfest video where I get presented this, go check it out. Um, but I want to take a look at this in a little more detail and get kind of do a quick review of it. Um, the, the, the box art is fantastic for anything Art Asylum Diamond Select. They do a great job on the boxes. The display is really nice. Um, just leaving it in there is perfectly fine. Um, see down here it says Electronic Starship Romulan Bird of Prey, Starship Legends, and the 50th anniversary logo. Uh, so, yeah. On the side, uh, I got Romulan Bird of Prey, Electronic Starship, Authentic Sound Effects, Dialogue from the episode Balance of Terror, Light up engines, bridge and weapons, stay on, light up feature, and then plays the following dialogue, which is a lot of dialogue. Um, we got activate our cloak, divert all power to weapons, Centurion, I find myself wishing for destruction before we can return. This commander is not one to repeat a mistake. Continue evasive maneuvers, the Earth commander will follow. He must. And when he does, we will destroy him. Escape maneuver. Uh, one, quickly. Evasive action. First, study. Seek weakness. If I were their commander, that would be what I would do. It is good. We are we prepare, approach the neutral zone. Once fully obscured, we will suddenly turn back upon our adversaries. We will attack, but on my order. Perhaps we can yet save our praetor's pride. Your carelessness might have ended this glorious mission. I regret we meet this way. You and I are of a kind. In a different reality, I could have called you friend. We are creatures of duty, Captain. Just one last duty to perform. It's got sounds, photon torpedoes, escape maneuver, hull impact, destruct button, and self-destruct. Um, and the reason I read all those off to you guys is because... <sighs> The batteries that were in it were dead, so I replaced the batteries. Um, the sound effects work great, the lights work great, but the audio chip, or I don't know what the problem is, but whenever you hear the audio clips, they're really distorted and really bad. So those are all the ones that it does actually play. Um, and just you can't hear them, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. On the top, you got a shot of the ship there. The other side has the exact same dialogue and sound effects thing. And then the back has got, again, some really great pictures of the ship. Love the bird on the bottom. Looks fantastic. Uh, length, 68 meters. Wingspan, 90 meters. Five decks, 150 crew. Maximum speed, warp factor 4. Did it, though? Did it really have warp factor? Anyway. Romulan Bird of Prey Electronic Ship. The Romulan Star Empire has found a long antagonistic relationship with Earth and the United Federation of Planets. After war broke out in the 22nd century, the Romulan Neutral Zone was established, isolating the Empire from the Federation. Over a century later, the Romulans sent small, maneuverable ships, known as Birds of Prey, due to their distinctive underbelly markings, to attack Federation outposts, reigniting hostilities. With this advanced plasma torpedoes, as well as cloaking device that renders it virtually invisible, a single bird of prey is, if not a match, then certainly a worthy opponent 
for a Constitution class Federation starship. So great description, um, beautiful packaging. Like I said, uh, on the bottom there, you got a few of the other things. They got uh, the tricorders, communicators, uh, the Enterprise, Kirk, and a bird of prey. Some of those are back here. I've got the um, that's the Asylum tricorder. Um, the phasers and uh, communicator that I have from Artisan are actually downstairs. These ones here are one company, but the tricorder's got to be there, so that's there. Uh, so this is the packaging. It requires uh, three AAA batteries. Um, so yeah. So when we take it out of the box, which on initial unboxing is quite a chore, it's got those stupid ties. Um, but there is also the instruction booklet. Well, fold out flyer thing, as you can see there. It just shows you the battery placements um, to unlock all the features. You got to Put it from play to on, and then how to activate them by pushing the spine of the ship down. So that's in there, and of course, as always, you got the Art Asylum little catalog, which you fold out, and it's got all the the figurines and the phasers. I got both phasers there. I got the tricorder, I've got the communicator, I've got the Klingon disruptor, I've got the Spock display, the Khan display, um, the Khan and Kirk display. Got a bunch of this stuff, is what I'm saying. A lot of our asylum diamonds select, they do really good stuff. On the back as well, you got different ships. Uh, the Enterprise, which I have, the Enterprise D have it. Um, the All Good Things Enterprise, I don't have. The Enterprise B, I don't have, although I want to get that one for sure. I do have the Excelsior though. Um, Romulan Bird of Prey just got uh, the Enterprise NX01. Have that one, and I don't have the Klingon Bird of Prey. Need to get that one. Um, but then there's some gallery pieces there which I don't have. Um, so that comes with every one as well. Now for the actual ship. Oops. Here is the ship. Uh, it's a beautiful size. It is huge. Um, the bird is beautiful on the bottom of this thing. And the coloring is great. Like it's got that the proper orange color. It's not it's not too orange. It's not it, it's just perfect. Um, they did a pretty good job of covering the screw holes as well. Uh, this screw hole actually is where the battery component compartment is. It's this whole bottom piece. So you unscrew that, take that out, and replace your batteries that way. Um, you've got some window details along the front, some painted on, some light up, which is great. And you got the little plasma torpedo launcher there as well. So good job there. On the back, there's generally should be some squares uh, for th um, impulse engines or thrusters of some kind. There's nothing on this one, which is fine. Um, but yeah, the bird detailing is fantastic. I really do like that. Uh, the warp nacelles, the engines look good. Uh, nice orange colored Bizarre collectors. And a great silver gunmetal um, uh, rear part to the cells. The top, <coughs> the top you've got these uh, trailing edge feathers on each side of the strut. And along the back, as well as on the back of the fin there. Um, just another nice little detail. I wish there would be more detail or more of a bird motif on the top of these because usually when you display them it's hard to see the bottom. Um, that's one of the things that I find very shitty about the the um, TOS Romulan Bird of Prey is the fact that to display it you need to have it up high. I have my Franklin Mint one up on a high shelf with the glass thing so you can see the bird underneath because that's what you want to see when you see these plus the shape um, from the bottom and the top is really fantastic. From the front and from the side, it's just kind of meh. Um, so, on the top here again, you got a lot of little holes drilled out, 
and a lot of great lighting details there, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Um, so overall, a great piece, good weight, feels very hefty and sturdy. Um, to get the glowing light effects, you just hold that down, you get the sound effects as well. The Bizarre Collectors fade colors, which you can't really see on the screen too much, but it changes from like a yellow to an orange. Um, the top light up parts are great, and I'm on the front here as well. These ones here also light up. You just need to be at a certain angle to see them. Hit that again and you got the lights with no sound effect. No lights on the bottom to speak of. The back, the rear have some really bright, nice um, LEDs there. But let's move on to the, the talking features of this thing. So listen to this. This is with brand new batteries. I've replaced, I've used three different kind of brands brands of batteries, brand new ones, and this is the best I can get. And there's the plasma torpedo light up. I'm really underwhelmed with the sound effects as far as the speech goes. Like you can make out what they're saying now. When I first put the first set of batteries in, it was just blah, 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 blah. now you can make out what they're saying, but it's so labored and so slow, it's like the batteries are dying and they're not. They're brand new batteries. Sounds so tired and so bad. Uh, that's the only beef I have with this. I don't know why it's this one in particular that does it. My other ones, my Excelsior, my Enterprise E, they all work fine. This one, for for whatever reason, uh, just the sound, the uh, the speech is just so labored and slow, which is a shame because it's a great piece. <sighs> Again, another one of the cool features about this thing is the stand. Um, Art Asylum Diamond Select does some fantastic stands. Here's their, it's the original Romulan symbol. Um, yeah, it looks good, so. Um, but let's put it down on the stand to get a look at it and call this uh, review a wrap, shall we? Alright guys, so here she is on the stand with the lights on. And I gotta say, the lights are super impressive. It does look fantastic. I just wish the sound effects worked a bit better. Um, the stand has a bunch of a bunch a lot of maneuverability a lot of different options for um, being able to adjust it just the way that it's designed uh, it does look great as I said um, and yeah you can angle it because it's got that ball joint which I'm gonna warn you guys gets loose pretty quickly so find a position you like it in and kind of keep it there don't be adjusting that too much if possible um, you'll find it gets a little bit flimsy and wobbly um, the more you adjust it so be aware of that but as a display piece with the lights um, I think it looks absolutely amazing um, would I recommend this one yes but unfortunately that sound chip the sound quality is just garbage and I don't understand why um, if the sound quality would be great the clips they have are fantastic there's so many different clips um, sound effects and stuff from the episode that it's just absolutely great that way um, the only other minor issue I have is right there you can see it that light leak the seam on the rear of the nacelles both of them um, allows a little bit of light leak which is not a huge deal 
uh, it would be actually easy to fix. That being said, the the rest of the hull doesn't emit light through it. Like it, if you turn off the lights, uh, this thing actually lights up pretty good, and it doesn't bleed through the hull, which is a bad light leak. There you got that side. You can see a little crack there. Um, I think these actually gl glow through a little bit. What we're going to do now is turn off the lights and get it as dark as we can in here right now and uh, take a look at it like that. Alright guys, I've moved it down to the floor and uh, turned off the lights. Got as dark as I could in here so you can see the, the lighting effects are actually pretty great. Can't see the bird on the bottom, of course, um, which is a shame. But here's some of the light leaking I was talking about right there. And right there, you can see it coming out from where it shouldn't be coming out. Those are really bad light leaks. There's also one right there on the seam. And over here, you get a lot of seam light leaks. Right there on the top. Um, just because of mass production, ill-fitting components. Um, other than that, though, absolutely great. The, the nacelles changing color from a red, um, fading to a nice orange, and then a yellow, and then kind of fading out, is stunning. This is really well done. So, awesome job for that, guys. Um, but yeah, there are a few light leak issues. The sound chip is a little bit garbage. Let me just turn the lights back on so we can close this video out. But yeah, other than that, highly recommended. The base does look fantastic as well with the Romulan symbol. Um, I do love Art Asylum for their bases and things like that. Their ball joints leave a little much to be desired. So besides the bad ball joint that goes loose really quickly, a few light leaks, which actually is a lot better than some of their older stuff, so not really complaining there. And just the shitty sound quality. Again, it could just be my version of this. I'm not sure if other people out there have this. And if you have that issue with the sound chip, let me know. If you don't, please also let me know. I'm curious to find out whether this is a standard thing for these, or if it's uh, just mine. But there you can see that glorious bird on the bottom that looks great so yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys have this one and if you have the same issues with the sound clips um, really eager to find that out I don't really care too much because the sound effects are just they're whatever uh, I prefer how it's how it displays and this one displays beautifully uh, especially like those lights are they're bright they're they're really nice uh, and it's a great size. It's actually fairly substantially big. Um, and would be interesting to know if it's like 350 scale or not. Because I could put it beside my 350 Enterprise. Which is maybe something I should do right now uh, for you guys as we close out. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Whether you have it. If yours, yours has the issue with the sound effects. Uh, let me know. All right, there it is beside my 350 scale Enterprise, and I turned on the bridge sound effects and also the sound effects on the Romulan ship to kind of drown out the sound of the motors. The motors in that one are pretty loud, so I apologize. But, I mean, it looks good beside it. It's even got the same color scheme, but it is a little small in comparison to a 350 scale, unfortunately. It'd be cool to be the same scale, but... I think that looks kind of cool. So yeah guys, there's my review of the... It's coming over the top. It's like the Reliant did in Star Trek 2. Air perspective. Alright guys, that's my look at the... Uh, Art Asylum TOS Romulan Bird of Prey. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts, whether you have one, whether you want to get one, um, and whether yours has all the issues mine does. I'd be very eager to find that out. So, 
I will close it out now and say thank you very much for watching. Please check out other videos by us here. Um, also subscribe to both channels. And uh, like I said, yeah, check out other videos. And I uh, hope you had a good day and I hope you have a great week and I hope you have a great life and have a stress-free everything. Bye everybody.